There's such a thing as evidence-based medicine, and that's where you have some evidence that suggests that you, for example, use a drug and use, use it commonly, and it commonly f affects heart function and improves, improves the, the function of the heart. And so we use so-called evidence-based practice to really dictate what happens in medicine. But then there's something that's really coming to the fore now, and it's called uh, practice-based evidence. Well, if I try this, it works. And um, some, of, some of that comes from the physician saying, well, you know, if, when I do this, things happen. And some of it comes from the patients. Uh, they, and they really, the patients drive clinical research. And so I had uh, more than one patient come and, and talk to me and said, you know, after I started on a statin, my vision seemed to get worse. And I thought about that. I didn't, couldn't I, what, know what that was all about. And then I experienced the finding a family uh, in the United States who I'd, I'd seen. And uh, both of them had the same mutation in the choroideremia gene. These were two uh, individuals who I don't think are here today. Um, and, uh, and they were only two years different in age. And it seemed that the one that was taking a statin for hypercholesterolemia had uh, worse visual function. I thought, well, my gosh, there must be something to this. There must be something more than, uh, than just uh, anecdotal evidence. And can, can, we, can we find out if statins actually affect choroideremia in some fashion? And so I'm going to talk a little bit about some preliminary studies that we did on uh, cells. And you've heard the work of uh, Vicky uh, today. Uh, these are cell-based experiments on, on, on uh, normal cells and also choroideremia cells. And, uh, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an internet-based survey of choroideremia patients, carriers, and normal individuals, w which many of you participated in. I'll give you the results on that, which are currently unpublished.